What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown match. I'm Scourge Blade Zelda, and today we have a kind of a different match. We have a Gen 5 OU best of three set against my boy Marls44. Now, okay. Before I start the match here, because you obviously you've obviously seen this team before this team before on my side and his t and his team has a lot of annoying shit that I have to deal with specifically that Vaporeon and Breloom I hate Breloom and this I hate fighting Breloom in competitive play and this man right here is the reason for that so yeah anyway getting into what this is exactly okay so if you don't know and haven't been keeping up with me and my twitch streams me and marley have been racing in various games first pokemon platinum then zelda minish cap and now we're doing a three-way race between me him and his cousin jayhoff I will have his channel in the description. If he doesn't have one, then I'll just link link, in, link his Twitch or something. I don't I don't know. Future me will figure that out. That is not something that I have to deal with right now. Okay, so explaining what this is is basically we have a couple different rules of the race and one of those rules was all of us it all three of us have to choose a different starter like one of us chooses oshawa the other chooses tepig and the last chooses snivy but marley and i had a bit of a disagreement because neither of us really like using tepig and so we both wanted oshawa so we decided instead of just arguing on and on like the children we are we decided hey let's settle this with a pokemon showdown match best of three and that's exactly what this is so best two out of three gen 5 ou whoever wins gets to gets to pick oshawa and the loser has to is has to settle with tepig and for those of you who are present for my twitch streams already know the outcome but these three matches right here they were so so intense that neither of us really cared so no matter the outcome these these matches were they were something to behold man anyway i'm rambling at this point so let's start with this first match he's going to start off with his Breloom I'm going to start off with my usual lead of Politoed as he sets up his substitute I expect that so I'm going to encore him so he can't so he isn't able to spore me so I'm able to so I'm able to hit him with a couple ice beams but I but I see soon enough that this isn't exactly working because he's able to keep getting substitutes up and he pretty much just heal heals exactly the amount of damage that he, that the substitute takes from him so my encore it, his encore ends with no no nothing gained on my end so i switch out into my espion and put up the reflect as he says as he hits me with seed bomb and thanks to the reflect it doesn't do too much damage but after this he's gonna switch out into his Vaporeon, considering I have an Espeon out, and Psyshock will do a shitload of damage to him, so which is a good switch on in his part, so I have to switch out now since he can't since I can't do anything to him. He protects here to uh, scout out the thunder, but I I predict that, so I'm just gonna go for the wish and and switch out to my Espeon, and as he double switches into his Heat Ran. Now I'm not sure really what I was really expecting here. He hit me with Earth Power before, so after I scouted out his move, so I knew it was coming. But I switched into 
tentacruel anyway, thinking I th thinking I would be able to take it. And I do take it, but I don't do enough damage back to him, and that was where I had had a bit of an error. So I switch out into my Thunderous, and he switches into his Garchomp to take out the Volt Switch, which is take the Volt Switch, which is pretty, which is pretty good on his part. So anyway, anyway, after he, we both switch out a lot a couple times. He, he goes for the Stealth Rock, but I expect some... I was expecting a status move of some kind, so I switch into Espeon and bounce his Stealth Rocks back, so that's good for me, but... But even though I have... He has Stealth Rocks on his side of the field, I can't really do anything to this Blissey's, but... But he still... But he still switches out into his Vaporeon for some reason. I have no idea why he... I can't really do much to this Blissey, so I have no idea why he's, he want, he was going to switch out there. But then he scalds me and, bur and burns my Espeon, which is really annoying. Now I'm in a bad spot, so I have to switch out into my Jirachi and, and Thunder the, the Blissey as he Stealth Rocks me. Which is, which is a good play on his part, but now I'm just going to be able to go and go and get a few iron heads on him to get the para flinch going because I was able to paralyze him. So knowing this, he switches out into his, his into his guard chomp again. And yeah, okay. It, okay. Here's where it, and when he switches out into his gar Gyarados here, here's where here's where I make a big a big, 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 big mistake. Okay, so he starts dragon dancing because he knows I'm scarfed and I can't do anything aside from focus blast. Now, my thought process here was I shouldn't switch out because as soon as I, as soon as I switch out, it'll give him a free it'll give him a free attack and he'll be able to kill me. So I I start going to for the focus blasts to try and get his special defense down. I was trying to go for the special defense drop, but it didn't end up happening and especially and even that he it, I get like two misses, which is really annoying. So now that he's like at like plus plus 4 on both of his attack and of his and his speed, he's just going to be able to completely sweep the rest of my team with his Gyarados here. And that's the end of the battle. That's the end of the first battle. Done! Yeah, this... This battle was pretty... Was pretty intense. At least in the beginning, until I... Fucked up really, really badly, and... Just basically just threw the entire game away. But... That's... But that was my choice, and I gotta deal with the loss, so... First match goes to him, let's go to the next match. Alright, here's the... For the second match here, both of us are using the same teams as before, We and we stick with them throughout the entire set, so there's no reason to go over the teams a second time, let's just get right into it. Okay, this time I know he's going to send out his Breloom first, so I'm actually going to send out my Espeon and Psyshock it before I can before he can go for the substitute. Get the fuck out of here! So that was a good good that was good on my part. Anyway, he sends out his Garchomp as I as I switch out into my Politoed to get the to get the rain up. But now that I know he's going for Outrage, I switch into my Jirachi to take the hit since I know it resists it. But then I realize it did a little too much damage, so. I'm gonna go for this for the wish, and knowing that Marley switches into his Blissey to t to tank the next Thunder that comes comes out, but I'm able to paralyze it after he sends up his Stealth Rocks, and here come the Paraflinch hacks. Now this time he's able to get through the Paraflinch hacks not once but twice in a row. First first healing himself with soft-boiled so it takes even le more time for me to kill this thing 
and then it it damages me with with seismic toss so that really took me off guard and i can tell marley was getting excited about that because he stays in but no but now that I, but then i start actually getting the real flinch hack so he start so he switches out into guard shop like before now here's where i make a mistake i switch out into my to my thunder is predicting the earthquake but he actually goes for the outrage again which is which is a bad move on my part anyway i switch out into my tent in, I switch into my tentacle to stall out his outrage so he can get confused and it and so if I so I can go for the scald hoping I could burn him hopefully hopefully but unfortunately I don't so that means I won't be able to survive the next outrage so I'm going to switch into my Jirachi now I'm honestly not sure why he switches out here. I'm sure he was probably scared, so he switches into his into his Vaporeon trying to get the wish over to Garchomp, but I but before long I predict that, so I just go go straight for the Iron Head instead of wasting my time for going for Thunder, and it paid off because I because I killed it, but I end up losing my Politoed. Politoed in the process, so there's that. He goes into his Vaporeon as I go into my... to take the close combat from my Terrakian. He goes for the Protect, but I predict that, so so I'm able to get a Sword stand up, Dance up and kill hit, kill his thing. Kill his, kill his Vaporeon. And now look familiar, because now I'm able to sweep part of his team with, with my Terrakian. But now he's now he gets. It, but he's able to kill it with his Heatran, which is pretty bad. Since now that I don't have Politoed, I can't really reasonably do this do a lot of damage to this thing without without getting hit back. So, but knowing that he switches into his Blissey, I kill his Blissey with my Espeon as I switch back out into into my Tentacle to protect stall his Heatran at this point. Because that's pretty much all I can do to beat this thing, since Jirachi can't do nothing to this thing, and Espeon can't do nothing to this thing. So, my best chance to win is through Tentacruel, and by stalling it out, I'm able to get some good damage on it. Also, thanks to the screens that Espeon set up earlier. But, yeah, that's the second battle. Now it's, and I take it. So now it is 1-1. Let's go on to game three, the final battle. All right, this is absolutely it, y'all. The last battle. Same teams, same moves, same bullshit. This is, this is a very, very long battle, so I am not confident in my ability to commentate this one. But I'll do my best. Anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so judging from last time, I expected him to lead off with something else, considering how it, how badly my Espeon fucked his fucked his day in the last battle. But he leads with his Breloom anyway, so I switch back into Espeon to take the spore, and now he's got to switch out into his Vaporeon. Now I set up my screens thinking he's going to go for the Protect, but I completely forget that this thing has heal bell so that's something i'm gonna have to deal with and that's good that's really gonna that's really gonna bite me later later in the battle now i'm going to switch out into my tentacruel since test i tested the side shock to see how much it would do and it didn't do much at all so i switch into my tentacruel to set up the toxic spikes that's gonna that's that's also gonna bite me later on but we'll, you'll you'll see how in a minute. But but since since I can do absolutely nothing to this thing, I switch out into my thunderous as he protects to scout out what move I'm going to use and switch out accordingly. And since I know that, I'm going to switch out into my Terrakian as his guard chomp comes in to take toxic take the toxic take damage from the toxic spikes. 
And this is pretty funny. I go for the substitute to stall out the toxic and then go for the close combat and we both end up taking each other out which is pretty funny. But here's where the okay now here's where the toxic to toxic spikes start biting me in the ass. Since he, since he's able to switch into his Berloom and use the spore, magic bounce no longer works on him now because he's he's now toxic. He's now uh, poisoned, and I can't bounce back his spore, so I have to switch out and go for the, and go for the thunder on his Vaporeon as he switches out into his Blissey, which I also can't paralyze. Since, yeah, he's taking full advantage of my of my toxic spikes right now. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Either way, I'm still going to be able to go for the flinch hacks and beat his Blissey, but I still got that Breloom to deal with, so I switch into my Espeon knowing he can't really do too much to me, but then but then I completely forgot that the only reason he didn't do too much to me last time is because I have my light screen up, and I didn't this time, so he was a he's able to kill me with a Seed Bomb. Now... Considering I I switch I switch into my thunderous go for go for the HP ice on on his on him he do, it does nothing so I'm so I switch into my Politoed knowing that he's gonna spore me so so then I have to so then I have to switch out because now I know because then I know he's gonna go for the focus punch and go f and go for the HP ice yet again but. But again, it does nothing. So he's able to switch into his to his Heatran and take me out. So yeah, this isn't going very well. He switches into his back into his Breloom and on the Thunder. But then I I just go for the Iron Head anyway. But then I get a critical hit on him. So and kill him. So it's pretty good for me. Now I go for the Thunder on his Heatran and get another critical hit. So I'm getting really, really lucky, but then Karma comes up and he gets gets a crit on my tentacle with Earth Power. So, wah, wah, wah. so now he's able to switch into my switch into me, knowing that he's going to protect. So he switches into his Gyarados, and now and now I'm forced to switch out again, and he's able to set up a Dragon Dance. Now, I, since I didn't want to make the same mistake as last time, I switch out into my Jirachi hoping I can take it, but it does nothing for me, so... I switch into my... Politoed, and I go for the Ice Beam after he taunts me, but I get the Freeze, which was really, 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 really funny. He, he was crying when this happened, and... it, And this is around the time where... He, where shit gets absolutely bonkers. So now that he's frozen, I can just do whatever I want to him. So after a couple more ice beams, he's go he's gonna have to switch out into his Vaporeon and and heal it with Heal Bell. That's it. and yeah, this this stupid Vaporeon. I I hate this thing so fucking much. Like, ugh, I just want to strangle it. But now that he, but now that I only have my two water types left, I don't. It, I'm not able to do anything to these guys because I only have Ice Beam, on, it, Ice Beam and Water moves, and Rapid Spin. And I'm a, I'm able to encore him so he can, so he gets stuck into Dragon Dance. So I'm able to to get a few more Ice Beams in. But that's, but that's just it. That's. I can't do too much to him. Now, I get the f now on this next ice beam, I get the freeze again. Which, <laughs> oh my god, this was—we were so hyped when this was happening. <laughs> like you have no idea. Now I try to arc encore on this stupid Vaporeon of his, but I completely forgot that Vaporeon is slower than than Politoed, so I'm. I'm able to. So, 
So yeah, I ended up just wasting a turn there. But I don't know why I switched. It. Now, I switch into Tentacruel here. I don't exactly know why I did that. Rapid Spin does absolutely nothing to this thing, and I knew that. So, it, I knew Ice Beam was the better option, so... I'm not exactly sure why I switched this time. But I... I, I, don't, I honestly don't know what else to say. This, The rest of this battle is just... Is just his Vaporeon stalling me the hell out. I mean, I get a critical hit on that Ice Beam, but it doesn't really do much since since Vaporeon is bulky as hell, and I can't use any. And I only have my two Water types alive, and the only thing I can, I the only thing that can do, the only thing I can do is just Ice Beam this thing and hope for a freeze for another freeze since. Water attacks do absolutely nothing to Vaporeon, and then he's able to burn me with the Scald, which... Yeah, that's pretty much the end- that's pretty much the end of the battle, I just... I'm just stalling at this point. I lose my... my Polito thanks to the burn, and... Now I can do absolutely nothing to this thing but Rapid Spin. The only moves- the only damaging moves I have on this thing are Scald and Rapid Spin, and... Skull does absolutely nothing to Vaporeon, like I said before, as, and as you've just seen. I just, again, I don't know why he switches out. Maybe he wanted to be extra safe and get the Intimidate on, since I can't switch. But, or, or maybe he just wanted to get it over with, since he knows I can't do anything to his Vaporeon. But he keeps Dragon Dancing up, and eventually, like, oh, oh, right, I get the burn, I don't even... I don't even remember getting that burn on him. But then he's... But his... He gets just enough Dragon Dances up, and he's gonna be killing me in a couple minutes. I'm just stalling this out. If I'm going down, I'm going down without a fight. I'm not going down without a fight, man. So I do my best to at least stall out the burn and see if I can at least beat this Gyarados before I before I die. I'm not ex I'm not- I don't know if I get it, but... Either that or he switches out to his Vaporeon again in a little bit. But let's see what he does, I don't remember. It, this was a long battle. Okay. Okay, I do get- I do beat his Gyarados, at least. But yeah, now he has his Vaporeon, he's gonna heal the Toxic, and now I'm fucked. So yeah, let me let me speed up the rest of this because this is because this takes quite a long time. Anyway, that's it for these three battles. They, they those were these were some pretty epic matches, especially the last one. But yeah, that means Marley got to gets to use Oshawott, and I'm stuck with Tepig. But, don't worry, I'll make good use of it. Don't know why he switches out here. Oh, yeah, he's like that one. Whatever. Okay, so... That's it for these battles, guys. I hope you enjoyed. These, these were some great matches, Marley. We should... We should do this again sometime. That was that was an epic match. Whenever, whenever we have a disagreement, we ought to do something like this again. Who knows, it might be even better than these were. Alright, so that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Peace! Okay, this is absolutely it, y'all. The last battle. Same teams, same moves, same bullshit. We're still... We'll st we'll, we're still... We're still... Fuck! Don't you start ringing 50 million times like yesterday, because I will I will go upstairs and bring you upstairs if you keep ringing that so, so much. Damn it.
can't even talk. Fuck! Fuck off! And now I completely forget that the that turning the sound off is a thing. Okay. Let's try this again.